Okay, hello, this is Rosa RCG Creations. How are you doing? Bringing to you a vacuum canning project. I went and got a bunch of crackers, bought them here. Every, every week I bought some when I went to the store. We go to the store once a week. So these are just a box of saltine crackers and I'm not really too particular to take particular if it's a name brand or if it's an off brand. Because for me, a saltine cracker is a saltine cracker. Now, of course, they typically come four to a box. But what you do, and this is, remember, do your own research. Do your own studying of what's best for you and your family. And I've been doing this for well over 15 years. And we also have um, a vacuum. What's, what's the name of that vacuum seeder? A food saver, vacuum seeder, but my little plastic hose that comes to the sealer broke. So I went ahead and got this one. It's from Food Saver. I actually got this at Target, and it's charging right now. But by the time I put, load all these con uh, containers, it'll be charged up. And then you got to have a bottle, a jar, sealer. They come in the wide mouth and the regular mouth, and I have both. So we're going to be doing wide mouth because for crackers, it's easier to get your hand in and out with a wide mouth. Make sure your hands are clean, your table's clean, your jars are clean. And then you just lay your crackers in. You want to get as many as you can inside. And I think one and a half of these little packets fill an entire jar, if I remember. It's It's been since last year since I did it. We're down to, I think we're down to our six quart jars. And we like these with soups, chili. I'm making some chili for supper tonight. And I'm going to pressure can the rest of the chili. And I'm going to make some more chili tomorrow night. Because we've got to run to the store again tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, there's my alarm. I'll be right back because it's time for the chili. Okay, we're back. Chili was good. I had to add a little bit more extra seasoning, spices to it, but it was good. Now these little bitty crummy things, save them if you want to, or just throw them away. Whatever you want to do. And then I'm just going to continue to fill these up. And then I'll bring you back when we get to vacuum packing. I just wanted to just show you. Oh, and one more thing. In fact, let me finish this one up. This is almost full. You can kind of squeeze in like two or three here on the sides. Because remember, the whole point of doing this is for storing for another time. And since you can go all the way to the very top, it's not going to hurt you none. To put it right there to the top, I just squish it just a tad. Just barely, don't, because you don't want to crack your crackers. Oh, uh, let me get my foot down. I'll be right back. Just like you do your pressure canning, you want your lid and your rim to be clean. So, in case there's any crack, crack pieces of cracker or your oil from your hands. And then put a clean lid on top. And clean table. Put this on your drawer, and I think this should be ready. <laughs> but it wasn't since I've used this, so. You're supposed to be able to hear that's how you know if it's um, got a good seal or not. I never could really hear it. Sometimes I can, but sometimes I can't. Nope, see, it didn't seal. Okay. My, when you've got the, the big jar sealer with the little tube, the little light comes off and on, so I really like that. And I got spoiled with that because that's what I've had for years. But these vacuum sealers, 
And I'll even want to get food safe. I don't want to get any other brand because that's what I've been using for the last 30 some odd years. It's a good product, you know, but they're getting extremely expensive. So let me put this again. And well, it's got a full charge, so it should be okay. And you're supposed to hold it down. I heard that noise difference. Okay, let's see if that did the seal. Nope, still didn't see that. You know, maybe my thing's not juiced up enough. I'll bring you back with this. I'm going to give it about two hours and I'll bring you back to that. But in the meantime, I'm going to fill my drawers up. I'll bring you back. Because I know it's going to just work before. Okay, we're back. I found my problem. <laughs> I forgot to take the little cover. This little cover is what you use when you're doing your bags and your canisters. Okay, but we don't need that because we're doing it directly onto the drawer. So... This one I just did. See, I'm picking it up just by the ring itself, so that's got a good seal. Put that over to the side. This one I haven't done. I didn't do it, remove my label because I'm not going to worry about it because you can definitely tell from the jar what it is. But I am going to take that off a little bit later and put the year because I like to keep the year, the month and the year that these crackers were um, best buy on the box just so I know how to rotate them all correctly. So make sure it's on there correct even put your lid on there there's this little nozzle right here it's not going to go all the way in it's just going to kind of sit right there make sure you don't tilt it either here or here or here or here just kind of let it sit right there then you're going to listen and i'm going to be quiet so you can hear when it changes a different pitch that's how you know that it, it's sealed or well this one here i just waited until it totally stopped and turned itself off but let's see what happens and i'm going to be quiet the whole time so you can hear Did you hear that? Psst. That should be a good seal. So let's see. There we go. I'm picking it up just by the middle, not the ring, not the jar, the middle part. Okay. We'll do one more, and then that you'll see. Make sure that this your lid is on good. That one didn't, I didn't think I heard it very well. So you know what, let me, do I need to charge this maybe some more? Because I think this has to sit in here. I forgot where I put my directions. And there's, there's two little, um, there's actually four sides where it connects. The connection there to the connection in there for the battery to charge it up. Okay, yeah, the green light's on, so it's got to charge. So I'm going to do some more charge. But now that you know what it is, that is how you vacuum with this little portable food saver, which actually works pretty darn good. Uh, I just, if you haven't used it in a while, the charge is gone because it's like, it's like anything else, it's got to charge. So I'm going to wait for the little light to come out and then I'm going to do the rest. But I'm still going to go ahead and just wipe off. And remove the lettering on here and then label all my jars that way I can just draw them to them and I'll bring you back. Okay, we're back. We all are done. And here's my jars. I've labeled them. Just a month in the year. Just so I know when I'm rotating them. 
I'm good to go. So I think we're pretty much done for winter as far as the crackers are concerned. We may need to buy another three or four more boxes, but I don't think so because I still got, I think I got two or three more. I forget how many in the pantry now. And, um, you know, it just depends. It depends on how much soup and stews and chili that we eat because that's really the only time we eat crackers. Sometimes we'll eat crackers, but we don't normally eat saltine crackers unless it's like as a, a an accessory to like a chili or soup or stews and stuff like that. Uh, we used to eat them with uh, saltine crackers. I mean, not with saltine, with um, different types of cheese. But we got these new other crackers that we do that with. And uh, we like to experiment and, che and check. But I wanted to show you. I already showed you this on the lid. We got the wide mouth and the bigger mouth. And I went ahead and got these. And these are just storage containers. But what's nice about them is you can put an entire sleeve of a cracker in there of the saltine crackers and then they do close they're not they're not airtight no they're not totally airtight you know because it's, it's it's not like um rubber uh, rub, uh tupperware tupperware it's not i mean it comes right off but it, at least it's enough and it's also a nice way to keep them in your pantry and keep the bugs out and uh no i would definitely would not do those those for long-term storage because they're not airtight like tupperware is but they're not as expensive as Tupperware is either. Because I got all these, I think they were, uh, I think they were like $7 for all three of them. Anyway, but anyway, that's my take on the Food Saver uh, portable dehydrating machine to use. I'm going to put this in here to give it another charge because i got some more dehydrating to do. And your uh, wide mouth jar. I don't know what you call it. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description box or I may just do it as a pop-up. But I'm all set right here. These are all labeled. They're going to go in my long-term winter storage pantry. And we'll have crackers whenever we're ready to eat. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to hit like. I said, am I in frame? <laughs> I don't want to go on the other one. I cut my head off. But anyway, hey, you know what you live and learn. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to hit like, comment, and share. Take care. Bye-bye.